Gotta bake another one on, oh, baby. You must be ready to attend this barbecue, my brother. Yeah, barbecue, little ugly ass. But no, shout out to Break the Bank TV, man, on, oh, baby. I'll tell you, huh, dog? What's up, my brother? What up, my brother? How you doing? I'm good, just chilling, man. Man, where we at right now? We downtown Chicago right now. This is like the heart of the city on some real shit. It's yeah. like the heart of the city. It's like in between west side, south side, north side, east side, all that. You know it's, what I mean? Yeah, it's my first time in Chicago, man. Yeah. So, you weren't yeah. scared when you got here? Man, I told you I'd be watching the <laughs> academics. I just say I just stayed down. Yeah. I just stayed downtown, man. Academics, that's cool, but that's not like really the true, true <laughs> story about Chicago. It's actually a cool city, man. Right. Like, well, everybody make a scene. Yeah, I like yeah. it, man. I was walking around downtown yeah, and stuff. Cool. You, feel? you can go downtown. You can go anywhere with me, bro. In the city, you good. No doubt. Oh, baby. All right, so you had an interview with Say Cheese TV last year. Yeah. And you basically talked about what on baby already met, how I met all your kids, and how you from the west side of Chicago. Yeah. And you know more than just comedy, but we ain't gonna get into all the other stuff, yeah. or whatever. So, what a lot of things, well, something um, that somebody, that people don't know, is that you also do music. Yeah, so I'm a dog on the music. Tell, tell us about some of your, your music, like the On Baby Volume 2 and yeah, the, uh, like that. I got a new mixtape in the drop ca called On Baby Volume 2. It's going to be on mymixtapes.com and all the other websites on the internet. I mean, um, I was doing music before all this, so, I mean, I've been doing that, you know what I mean? Most of my music, I just, I'm an artist, I'm an entertainer. I'm an entertainer overall, so I can do, I'll do whatever, you know what I mean? Act, comedy, music. Whatever, shit, I'll fuck around and get the painting around this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, baby. So, what's your, what's your number one love? Music? Was it comedy or just everything? I mean... I mean, I love it all, you know what I mean? I just love doing something that can get me out the ghetto and put me in a position to feed my family, you know? So, whatever works, really. You know, I'm just going to do it all. I'm a talented guy, so I can just do whatever I want to do, you know, as far as, like, entertainment. Okay. You know what I mean? So speaking of like, you know, comedy and acting, tell us about the adventures of Loose Square Ricky. Man, <laughs> that's a character I came up with one day, man, just brainstorming in the crib, you know what I mean? And I came up with that character and, and everybody loved that character though. It's like a real it's like people sell loose squares in Chicago. You know what I mean? But the funny part about it is he's selling loose square shorts. You know what I mean? And he got free D V D cases if you buy three squares. Type, squares of cigarettes, by the way, for everybody out there that don't know what squares mean. That's like something we say in Chicago, referring to cigarettes, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just came up with that idea, just brainstorming in the crib, man. Just, okay. you know what I mean? Trying to stay relevant and trying to come up with new ideas every day. Right, right. And man, that, going back to your mixtape, what artists have you, are you going to collaborate on this mixtape or have you collaborated already? Or what you can speak on as far as who you've collaborated with? Man, I got my boy Ill Will on my mixtape, man. He an artist in Chicago. Shout out Ill Will. I got um I got Cook Cannon on there. I got uh I got Lil Chris on there. Uh I got uh let me see. I think that's it. I think I got like three features. I got Plug Migo on there too. You know what I mean? I got like everybody from the West Side though, mostly West Side artists. But I fuck with all the artists in the city though, you know what I mean? Okay. But yeah. on this specific mixtape, I just got mostly West Side artists. Okay. See, and I seen on Instagram, man, you was with 600 Breezy. And yeah, that's my that's boy, man. Boy. That's my boy, that's like, cool. real talk. That's my boy, you know what I mean? Man. I fuck with him. He he humble, you know what I mean? And he straight up. He real, you know what I mean? And I fuck with that. All right. Baby. Any any chance of a collaboration? We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna put something together soon, you know what I mean? It's just when the time is right, you know what I mean? You can't force shit. So we just gonna wait it out and... Whenever we come up with something, we have a link and we put something together, then it's just what it is. You know what I mean? All right. Oh, baby. All right. So when, uh, where can the fans or anybody interested in just learning more about you, where can we go to hear the On Baby show that's powered by No One Radio? Uh, see, that show was postponed because a, um, a lot of paperwork, a lot of business shit that we got to get out the way. But it's coming. Um, so I don't even really want to talk about that right now. Okay. But it's on the way. Okay. It's on the way. Okay. You can just stay tuned to my Instagram, man. At Dontario Hondon on the Instagram, Dontario Washington on Facebook, uh, on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Dontario Hondon. Just stay tuned. You gonna anything might pop up on that, you know? Okay. All right. And so, how did you and um, Six Hundred Breezy initially meet? Have you always known him before? You got no, uh, came to like social media fame or Breezy seen one of my roasting videos, one of my bake sessions, and uh, he thought it was funny. You know what I mean? He hit me up. 
we exchanged numbers and then I sent it to him. He posted it on his page. He's like one of the first motherfuckers that posted it. You know what I mean? That had like a a buzz in the city. You know what I mean? He's like one of the first. Him and King Louis. King Louis, that's my boy. Shout out to him. Them two was like the first two that really posted it and shit and showed love. You know what I mean? Okay. For real. All right. So you got a date for that on Baby Volume Two yet? I don't have a specific date, but I know it's dropping soon. You just gotta stay tuned. You know what I mean? Stay stay watching my pages. Stay watching me, and then you gonna see it's gonna drop. But it's all heat. I don't play no games with none of this shit. Like on some real shit, it's all heat on baby. All right, so you also uh, posted a video on Instagram before you're behind the scenes, and you like I really freestyle. So was there anybody or any fan general questioning your integrity, saying that oh, I was all scripted, or what, what was the reason for you posting that? Did somebody challenge uh, people, you? People, the shit's so creative. Like people don't can't believe. Like this, it's unbelievable that I actually freestyle that shit, but really I do. They caught your ass selling loose. Twinkies in front of wild Walmart looking on my mama's type shit, you know, just come up with the shit off the top of my dome. The shit is organic, man. I just gotta be in the zone. If I see a picture, if I see somebody, I just come up with the shit. This is what we do. This is Chicago. This is what we did in school growing up. All I did was roast people in school, play basketball, fight, uh, think about being rich. That's all we did. Like, this ain't nothing new. Like, this is what we do. So, that shit is organic, man. I'm some real shit. Like, I come up with that shit off the top of my head. I see a picture. And the crazy part is about the shit. When I'm actually doing a bass session, like when I got my phone right here, I'm not even looking at the pitch. I'm looking at myself as I'm doing it. I got a bake. I'm looking at my damn self. That's how creative I am. I just glance at the pitch. I don't even be looking at the pitch like that. You know what I mean? Shit just come off the top, just like my music. I make that shit off the top. Motherfuckers witness that. They see that. You know what I mean? That's how this shit goes. Okay, okay. So, I know what um, Say Cheese TV interview, you said that you never got into a fight from roasting somebody, correct? You no. Never, you never made anybody want to fight you roasting? So People wanted to fight me, but they, like, they knew. I ain't no bitch at the end of the day, and I ain't the toughest guy in the world. I ain't saying I'm the... But I ain't no bitch and I ain't going, if a nigga try me, I'm going to knock your ass out, I'm going to hit you in your shit. That's just what it is. I always was raised like, my mama always told me, if you don't fight back son, when you get in this house, I'm going to beat your ass. I've been fighting my whole life. That's what I was doing before all this shit. I had to fight every day. School, when I got home, all that shit. So, hell no, nah, niggas know. You know what I mean? Okay. So have you ever, have you ever roasted with somebody who was Roasting right back with you. Have you ever got roasted real bad? I mean, I mean, no, I never got roasted real bad because I always got them bitches in the chamber. <laughs> right, right, okay. Got them bitches, but I done have motherfuckers that you know they ain't back down, and I like that. You know what I mean? I like to laugh too. You know what I mean? I ain't, I don't feel offended about it. Mm. I have very deep skin, like I have thick skin. I want to say very thick skin. So if a motherfucker talk about me. I mean, it's all fun and games. It's jokes. It's just jokes. People be too sensitive nowadays, man. You know what I mean? Open up a little bit, live a little, man. It's just jokes. This shit ain't nothing, man. You know what I mean? Right, right. So, what does it take to get a um to get you to roast somebody? Like, do you do it just as a requested by fans when you do roasting sessions, or do you just maybe one day you might just be like, you know what? I'm gonna go roast Young Jock today, or you know, different things. And how do you thing come is, I do celebrity like trending shit on my own, but people pay me, bro. Okay. Like Western Union me. I, I charge, just DM me. I ain't gonna put no price on the camera. But people actually pay me to roast. Like celebrities then paid me to roast motherfuckers. Like this ain't no facade. This is real. You know what I mean? Hell no, I don't do that shit for free. But the ones I pick, I sometimes I do shit for free. Sometimes I pick something trendy. And I do it off the strength. Because it's got to be done. Somebody got to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Because right. then, um, you say Cheese TV interview had. You saying that you were about like at 14k at the time? I believe it's like October 2016 uh, or something. Now you like over 100,000. Yeah, 100,000 followers. To say cheese, how long ago that was? was like well, when I looked, it said it was published in October 2016. All right. So, so I don't know if you shot it in September, it didn't come out to October, or you know. Yeah, that was like but, some like about what that was. You say it was October. Yeah, that's it. Said it was published October 16th, I believe. About five months ago, six months ago. I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah. kind of intoxicated now, just like, but no, nah, it, it was about five months ago. Uh, yeah, shit going up, you know what I mean? It ain't stopped. So obviously, um, I'm st I'm being consistent, you know what I mean? I'm just being a consistent guy. I'm just trying to make it, man. I don't like, I ain't gonna do no clown shit. I ain't gonna sell my soul for it. But I'm gonna do whatever works, you know what I mean? And that's just what it is. That's real. 
I got, I got kids. I got three daughters. I gotta feed them. You know what I mean? It's some real shit. Absolutely. So, you know, there are a lot of outside bloggers who always talk about Chicago, and it seems that they, all they focus on is the negative aspect. Like they talk about the crime, right? Like, you know, I was cousin earlier asking you about like, you know, some of the DJ academic stuff or these other outside bloggers. So, what? Is, tell me something about Chicago that people don't know, or why do you think everybody always just focus on the negative aspect, like the crime rate Chicago, for example? It's all. It's the media, man. The media make. The media paint this picture that Chicago is so bad, but it's really not, man. I have fun in Chicago, like on some real shit. Like, I mean, I know people get killed, but it's not like as much as you think. It, I mean, it's a lot, but the city's so big, it's so much shit to do. It's all about what you choose to do. I have fun. I'm a player. I like to go out. I like to have me a drink. I like to be around some women. You know what I mean? I stay out the way. I'm, I'm, I grew up out of that. You know what I mean? That's... It's just the you know it's just I ain't gonna even say it the young it's everybody man you know sometimes you just get in situations like I could be pumping my gas a nigga could say some slick shit now that's the whole situation I punch him in his eye he up a gun they ain't shooting you know it's just about where you at you got to be at the right place right time right moment you know what I mean you never know what can happen in Chicago it's a mystery and that's why I love it you know what I mean it's just like life you never know when you can die it's a mystery you just that's why you love it you know what I mean that's how Chicago is it ain't no bad city like it is it's a beautiful city you here how you like it? It's cool, man. I mean, you know I mean? Been, walked around downtown last night, a little did a little bit today. Uh, that pizza place, Giordano's or yeah. whatever it's called, it's really good. They got good. The deep dish pizzas and shit, yeah. yeah. Giordano's all right. But if you really want some good pizza, West Side Mama Luna's, that's our shit. Uh, South Side people like Italian Fiesta, that's their shit, like the other people. Shout out to Mama Luna, shout out to Italian Fiesta, man. If you want some good pizza. Beggars are all right, too. They cool. I like beggars, you know what I mean? Okay. On baby. <laughs> Definitely. So talk about um, well, what can you talk about as far as like you have a clothing line for like own baby clothing line. Yeah, coming I got out the own baby or? clothing line coming out. I'm working with uh two guys in Canada. They uh matter of fact, the contract just got printed up two days ago. You know what I mean? I'm been going over and I'm finna sign it and we finna do it and we finna make it happen. Like it's gonna be on the website. Got the website coming. All that shit in the works, man. Just stay tuned. You know what I mean? Keep supporting and you gonna see the shit That's happen. Slowly but for surely. So hoodies, a whole nine. Hoodies. hoodies, hats, t shirts. That's what we working with right now. We doing hoodies, hats, and t shirts for now. You know what I mean? Then we gonna have it have a uh however it works, have a have a gross we get off of it, then we're gonna venture off into expanding it. But right now I'm expanding it because I don't have no clothing line right now. I just own own baby. I trademark that so I can use that on clothes, whatever. And so I'm just gonna use it and I'm gonna do hats, shirts, and hoodies. Right now, that's all. I'm just gonna do hats, shirts, and hoodies. All right, so I see recently you just dropped a new video with you, your man Ill Way and Plug Me Go, yeah. the Authentic. Yeah. So tell us about that song a little, man. I watched, I, I watched a little, you know, clip and stuff with it. It was kind of dope, man. I ain't, I ain't even know you rap, honestly. Man, you know? man. And, niggas don't, man. Wait till y'all hear this shit, man. Y'all gonna be surprised, man. But that song came together, like, we talented, man. Like, People like y'all don't even understand like y'all think it's all about killing and all that shit, but we actually talented out here. You know what I mean? We came, we made, we did that song in ten minutes, man. Me and my yeah. homie, I I did the hook, freestyled it. Bam, yeah, Will hopped on that freestyled it. I came back, hopped on that freestyled it. Migo came up with this shit in five minutes, did his part. Like that's we did that song in ten minutes, man. And if you listen to it, go check that out on YouTube. Authentic, Don Terrio. AKA Hun Don, it will plug me go, man. That shit hot on baby. Yeah, I watched it. Uh, Y'all had a lot of energy in there. Yeah, we, yeah, we just did it off, like, off the blue. We just did it. We did the video out the blue. You know, motherfucker said we finna shoot the video. Bam, we did it. Made it happen. You know what I mean? That's what it was. It wasn't really shit. But it's, it's a good video. It's a good song. All right, so um, also in the Say Cheese TV, you were talking about the Netflix series Deadbeat. So did that ever... Um, how, what happened with that? Were you actually ever in it? Yeah, or? we finished this on YouTube. You can check it out. Dead B2 by F Danny Froze. Uh, it's on YouTube. We, they working out a deal with uh, Netflix and HBO, so we trying to see whatever that happens, whatever happens with that. I'm trying to get an expanding character role in the movie and all that. So we working on that right now. So y'all should be seeing that soon, like real talk. We need to see you on like Wild and Out, man. You funny enough to be on that. Detail, man, Nick Cannon, tell Nick man. Cannon, man. Y'all need to Push go at Nick Cannon, out. man. He know what's up, man. 
I'm like one of the. I did an audition for a while now. They sent me over to audition. You know what I mean? I did decent, and they should. I think I feel like y'all should put me on there, man. I deserve it. You know what I mean? This is this is what I do. This ain't nothing. Y'all freestyle. It's all freestyle. This is what I do. You know what I mean? Real talk. So how was the process? Were you nervous when you do? Do you ever get nervous when you do roast anything, or were you nervous no, at the? I don't get, I don't get nervous. All? I don't get nervous, man. I never was nervous since I was a shorty. I've been doing this shit since I was shorty and talent shows, all that shit. I was never nervous. This is me. It's what I was born to do. You know? Okay, okay. So stand up comedy and music that's just I'm mastering stand up right now, you know I ain't really mastered it yet, but I'm putting it together. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, man. I got the formula. I just gotta, you know, test it out now. It's, I'm in the testing out stage. I just gotta I'm gonna put a show together, see if it's funny, see if everybody like it, and I'm gonna go from there. You know what I mean? So you uh, you plan on cutting your hair again? I know you cut it before you did the Say Cheese interview, and then you know what I'm saying you go back out. So hell no, nah, my hair look like a sexy seal, ugly as hell. I ain't cut my shit. I like having my hair. They say your hair is your power. Uh, so that's what I like I like having hair on my head, man. I can't be out here balling shit, head yeah. cold. Cause I when I was reading some of those comments in the Say Cheese interview. He kept saying like Meek Mill, bro, but I don't really see that joke. I don't look like shit like no Meek Mill, man. Know, he look like me if anything. Shit. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Shout out Meek Mill, though. Oh, baby. Hey, yeah, shout out Ill Will, too, man. He one of the hottest artists in Chicago right now from the West Side, man. That's my boy. And I ain't even saying that because that's my boy. That boy got heat, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, yeah, Nigga, sleep, y'all need to wake the fuck up, man. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, in fact, my boy right here. Yeah, you know what it is, man. It's your boy IOL, man. Follow me on Instagram. And me and Ontario mixtape coming soon. We got a mixtape finna drop too called Step Brothers, man. Me and Ill Will, that shit hot. On oh, baby, we freestyle every song and all everything we came up with was dope as hell. And y'all gonna fuck with it. Y'all should fuck with it. I don't see why not. You know what I mean? All right, bro. We appreciate you stopping through, man. Coming to holler at me today in Chicago, yeah. your city, man. It's beautiful, love, man. It's beautiful love. city, man. I'll be back. You know hey, y'all, follow me on Instagram, man. At Dontario Hondon. D O N T E R I O H U N D O N. On Facebook at Dontario Washington, man. Y'all know how to spell. Get it right. On Snapchat, Dontario Honda, man. On my my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube first of all. That's what y'all need to do. Stop playing. Subscribe to my YouTube, Don Terry Honda, man. Let's get it poppin', man. I gotta bake another one on, baby. Yeah, barbecue, bean dip, burrito head ass. Wet towel behind the microwave smelling ass. They caught your ass selling loose poodle fur in front of PetSmart talking about you got deals on it. Get your ugly ass out of here. Yeah, barbecue on, baby. <laughs>